Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. Here in Australia, it's a very cold afternoon, so I thought what better way to spend a cold afternoon than watch a movie and follow it up with a review. So here I am. It's a horror film from Ireland, English language, released in the year 2012, directed by Connor McMahon, and this film is called Stitches. And the story to Stitches is as follows. Richard Grindle, known as Stitches, is the sleaziest clan working the children's party circuit in Ireland. Arriving late to a birthday party, his timing is off. The bratty kids pull a prank that goes hor horribly wrong. He falls on a kitchen knife and heads to the big top in the sky. Years later, the same nasty kids attend another more grown-up bash. Little do they know, thanks to a black magic cl uh, clown cult, Stitches will be the uninvited guest of honour, seeking revenge on the res those responsible for his untimely death. So the movie centres around Stitches the clown. He is a very irresponsible, he lacks enthusiasm, and so he is really a pretty bad clown. So he comes to this birthday party, the little kids, and straight away Stitches is not a hit. Uh, he's not funny, and the tricks he does are pretty lame. So the kids are getting a little bit impatient, so they decide to pull a prank on Stitches. Now, this prank goes horribly wrong, which ends up costing the life of Stitches, and so the kids are quite um, scarred by this. And so the film goes from that accident to many years later, and they're now teenagers, and they're going to a more grown-up um, party, which involves a lot of alcohol. So uh, to their horror, the same kids attending this birthday bash uh, they realise that Stitches had been uh, br brought back from the dead by this black magic clown cult. Now, Stitches is hell-bent on avenging those who were responsible for his untimely death because as far as the clown world is concerned, if a clown dies before completing a party, there is unfinished business. So Stitches certainly has unfinished business, and whether or not these kids survive this onslaught, that's something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on the film, I had high expectations coming into this one based on the fact that I'm such a Ross Noble fan. He is a, a fantastic comedian, I think he's the best comedian going around. He does a lot of tours here in Australia and he's just a really, really funny guy, one of Britain's best as far as I'm concerned. So to see that he was in a film, starring in a film, a horror comedy, I thought if he is utilised to his full potential, this could be an absolute classic. So after watching the film, I say that it was very funny, it lived up to the comedy aspect of it, but as far as the horror element was concerned, I thought it just let it down a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong, it's still a very, very good film, but there were little parts of the film which really put me off a little bit. Now, to start with the positives, it is very funny. Ross Noble steals the show as, as Stitches the Clown. Now, that does come with a positive and a negative. Now, the negative is whenever Ross Noble's not on the screen, the film tends to drag because when he's on the screen, he's so funny that when it's off screen, you're kind of waiting for him to come back. So it's really the sole focus is on the clown and it's not you know it's not a lot of time off screen for uh, for stitches but it's still enough to make you want to say hurry up hurry up so i thought the fact that ross noble was so brilliant in the film and everyone else sort of lags behind it kind of stole the focus off the overall story rather than uh you know as i said um, you know, rather than focusing on a whole story like Inbred did so well, it focuses on one particular character, which was Stitches. So it kind of took the gloss away from the rest of the film. And as I said, the, the scenes near the start, kind of, I kind of wanted to say, come on, bring back Ross Noble, bring back Ross Noble. Now, thankfully, it's not a lot of time before Ross Noble is back into the film, but I just thought for that, he was the only funny part of the film. Now, that's another criticism I have as compared to Inbred. I thought a lot of people were funny in that film, but in this movie, it seems to be one character who has a lot of the funny stuff. Now, there are a few funny one-liners from other characters, but the majority of the comedy comes from, uh, you know, not surprisingly, Ross Noble. So, him as Stitch is the clown. I thought he was fantastic, very sleazy. I thought every single scene that he was in was absolutely hilarious. I thought he made a very good bad guy, and I thought the casting was absolutely spot on. Now, the other characters, very, very, very annoying. Now, that's what you would expect from a horror comedy. It doesn't really... Um rely on solid character development but the ending as a result of the the kids being so annoying the ending kind of left a sour taste in my mouth i kind of wanted a hell of a lot more and it didn't finish the way that i was hoping it would now this does leave the door open for a sequel which i can you know appreciate if that's the case but i thought if they went down a different path in ending the film it would have been a hell of a lot more rewarding and as a result of that it prevents it from being a great film now the gore was there the gore i thought was very well done it's very exaggerated there's a bit of cgi but i thought it matched the overall mood 
that the film actually had. Now, some of the deaths were very, very creative. If you're a slasher fan and you want some, you know, really far out gory fun, this movie is definitely for you. The kill count's not very high. So that's another problem I had with the film. It had the potential to be a complete bloodbath near the end, but I thought they steered away from that. That might have been down to budget constraints. But when the, the deaths do happen, I thought, you know, they are pretty impressive. Even though there is CGI in it, I thought that no, was pretty well done. Production value, very well shot. The cinematography is very good. It's quite a graphic film, so when the death scenes happen, you get to see it all. And as I said, it's just such an outrageous film. It's so over the top that it's impossible not to take it seriously. Um, uh, seriously. So, um, sorry, it's impossible to take it seriously, I should say. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was a rewarding experience. Another problem I had with the film is that they didn't blend the comedy with the horror very well, which is the case with many horror comedies. Now, with Inbred, I thought they matched it perfectly. There were some scary moments followed by some absolutely funny moments. This movie tends to be more funny than horror. So that's a, the problem. another problem I had with it. As far as horror is concerned, I thought... Stitches didn't really bring an intimidating uh, figure. I mean, yes, he was a killer, but the fact that he was so funny didn't really scare you, and it wanted you wanted him to dispatch his victims in these outrageous ways. So when the scary things start happening, you know, it, it wasn't quite as scary as I thought it could have been. So if they downplayed the comedy aspect just a little tiny bit and kind of blended in the horror a little bit more, I thought it would have been a masterpiece uh, just like uh, Inbred was. But having said that, the movie does come, uh, come with its problems. But overall, I thought it was very, very funny. Ross Noble is great in it, followed by some very good gore. So as far as horror comedies are concerned, I thought this was one of the better ones. And I'm sure that a lot of people out there will appreciate it as well. So I'm going to give it three and a half stars. It doesn't get the five stars that Inbred got. I thought Inbred was a superior film. The movie has its problems, but thankfully the positives make it well worth the effort. So that's my review for the Irish horror film Stitches. Definitely comes recommended. Alright guys, that's my review. Hope you enjoy it. Till next time, keep watching movies, and I'll see you later.